Hi, my name is Diana and in this video, I will talk about Romanticism in Persuasion by Jane Austen. Jane Austen is well known in literature and lots of her works being adapted into pretty film either being a series or movie. She was born and raised in Steventon, Hampshire in England. She has 8 siblings, which 6 of them is boy. Most of the renowned works were being done during her Bloom's year where it can be seen the basic theme of her novels is about feminism. Due to the struggle in life that she sees, she portrays about the issues and inequality in the era. It can be seen that she tries to change the perspective about how women being portrayed in her era and to change the judgmental or idea that women could not represent or display their emotion other than the normalized one, an idea that too extra than the man's idea. This is why her novel being discussed and studied to know more about the idea of feminism and how Jane Austen's work become a movement of feminism. This is how Jane Austen being portrayed as feminist writer as well as the romanticism writer. As for the persuasion, it is among the renowned piece by Jane Austen aside from Pride and Prejudice and Emma that still in today did being discussed, comments and also compare with another novel or theme. However, persuasion has its own importance where it portrays the era of romanticism. As we have known, Jane Austen is a romanticism writer and to capture the meaning of romanticism, it can be done through 5 I. Imagination, Intuition, Idealism, Inspiration, and Individuality In Chapter 5, we could see the intuition of women when Lady Russell and Anne feel imprudence towards the arrangement of Mrs. Clay to be taken together to the bath. Anne thinks that Mrs. Clay may have an intention to form intimacy with Sir Walter as he too has been single for long after the death of his beloved wife, Elizabeth. Throughout the whole novel, we could see that persuasion emphasized on the emotion of each person, especially the elite siblings character where all three of them have its own personality. Their individuality can be observed quite obvious in the whole novel. In today's date, the art piece of Jane Austen still being appreciated. This thanks to the involvement of technology which helps the new generation nowadays get the knowledge of humanities in the tip of fingers. First, we need to know what is digital humanities in today's world. According to Professor David M. Berry in the British Academy website, digital humanities are at the leading edge of applying computer-based technology and humanities where the focus is on developing digital tools that could archive and make database of text, artworks and other materials. Basically, digital humanities are to reject the idea that digital technology is invading the academy. Rather than condemning the idea, it is better to adapt and make use of the technology to enhance the capability of the usage in the literature world. In digital humanities, new method has been developed especially in the arts area which is literature where there are computer-based statistical analysis, topic modeling, search and retrieval and data visualization. This will help the users such as students and lecturers to retrieve data of the works in easier way by using keywords, authors or even using theories. Other than that, in the digital databases, it is not only specific to the original and the discussion on it, but it also to the adaptation into series and movies of the work. Thus, this will expand the discussion of the selected works. As you can see, this is an example on how digital humanities could influence in better understanding of persuasion. First, with digital humanities, you could find related work to the selected work. For example, you could find other research using persuasion as their research aim. This can be seen in this example of research entitled Digital Persuasion, Jane Austen's Persuasion as a Test Case for Mapping, Visualization and Interpretation in the Digital Humanities, which is a thesis by Ella Winthrop Coates. Aside from that, it can also be discussed through the adaptations of the novel. It can be seen that Persuasion has been adapted into movie for several times such as Persuasion 1995, Persuasion 2007, and Persuasion 2022. 
In the same time, you could also get noticed the similar adaptation but being portrayed into modern era such as Modern Persuasion 2020. This will lead to discussion over the source of adaptation is the same but how they portray through the art film may not be the same to one another. The Persuasion Plot for the introduction, it is introduced in 1814 in England. The reader of this novel is introduced to the Elliot family for which Sir Walter Elliot is a person of vanity for his title as a baronet. He has three daughters for which the oldest share the same interest as Sir Walter, while Anne, the middle daughter, was treated as an outcast. Mary, the youngest, is married to Charles Musgrove and lives nearby Kellynch Hall at the Upper Cross. Lady Russell, being a trusted family advisor, has planned a financial planning for the family and asked them to retrench. Then, you could see the plot has grown by Sir Elliot decided to move to Bath to reduce the expenses while Kellynch Hall is rented to admire Croft and his wife. It is a coincidence that Mrs Croft happened to be the sister of Captain Wentworth, whom is Anne past lover. Anne's present is needed by Mary at the Upper Cross. Captain Wentworth followed his sister and admirer Croft to pay a visit to the Musgroves. The meeting has stirred some mixed emotion in Anne for he has not seen Frederick for the past eight years. Anne's journey continued in line with the Musgrove to visit Captain Wentworth's friend, Captain Harvin. There, she met Captain Benway and had a glimpse of Mr. Elliot, the heir of Kellynch Hall. Louisa had a concussion and Anne returned to Upper Cross with Captain Wentworth. Later, she ventured to Bath with Lady Russell and learned about her father's reconciliation with Mr. Elliot. The climax of this novel is when Louisa is to be married to Captain Benwick after spending time with him while recovering from her fall. Good news to end, Captain Benwick is still available. Then the plot entered the falling action phase where Anne find out about the real intention of Mr. Elliot for he is Amy the Baronetcy and Kellynch Hall and also learned that Mr. Elliot is a part of the bankruptcy of Mrs. Smith and her late husband and also run into Captain Wentworth in Bath and later the Musgroves arrive in Bath too. Anne had a conversation with Captain Harville and Captain Wentworth happened to overhear it. He wrote and left a confession letter to Anne. Then Captain Wentworth proposed to Anne and they are married to each other. The three elements of romanticism in persuasion that I managed to find are the passion of being in close proximity with someone you love, strong senses of emotion, and appreciation of nature. The theme for this novel is reconciliation of broken love due to persuasion of other party and giving the second chance for the person you love. The subject are love, family and friend. I have chosen to compare the persuasion novel with the adaptation of latest movie Persuasion 2022. The introduction of characters in the movie adaptation is quite interesting for each of the characters is mentioned well. The actors portray their character in such a unique and pleasing way. Although it is unknown for what reason is mentioned about other characters, the production team has made the adaptation a fantastic diversity by including people of colour. The still shots used able to show the elegant life of how the baronet wishes. The cinematography of the movie is pleasing to the eye and can be praised for its aesthetic beauty. Although many changes has been made from the book, it is still able to introduce each character in modesty. Next is the Mr. Elliot True Intention. It is quite a disappointment. I believe that in the movie, they had not once mentioned the existence of Mrs. Smith, old friend of Anne. She is a widow whom her husband left her a huge debt due to Mr. Elliot. Mr. Elliot, in fact, is an acquaintance of her late husband and often getting aided by the Smith when he is having a financial problem. Mrs. Smith tells Anne about her cousin's true intention for his sudden friendliness towards Sir Walter and all for the reason to destroy Kellynch Hall for money. Anne learns from Mrs. Smith that Mr. Elliot's friendly approaches were met so he can get his future baronetcy and lead Sir Walter to sign a contract to never remarry. 
However, in the movie, it was obvious that the production team has dismissed the character Mrs. Smith despite being the game changer of the relationship between Anne and Mr. Elliot. In fact, the detestable intention of Mr. Elliot towards Sir Walter and his family seems vague. In the movie, surely Mr. Elliot is portrayed as a quiet, handsome and potential heir of the Kalinch Hall, but the true intention is not delivered precisely to the viewer. Lastly, the Captain Wentworth letter. In the movie, the scene has changed into a conversation between Anne and Captain Harville informing her that Louisa is going to marry Captain Benwick instead of Captain Wentworth. Before that, they both had the same scene as in the novel where Captain Harville and Anne discuss what gender loved the longest. In the scene, there were no Mrs. Croft to converse with Mrs. Musgrove. Instead, all the Musgrove family, including Mary, are present at the scene. The way Anne found the letter had been changed into something simpler where she discovered it on the table, a letter with Miss A.E. written on it. The scene continues with Anne running out to catch Captain Wentworth and she runs into Mr. Elliot showing affection towards Mrs. Clay. The scene then proceeds to the marriage of Anne with Captain Wentworth. Last but not least, the conclusion. In my opinion, the adaptation of Persuasion 2022 has paved a new way of seeing the artworks of Jane Austen. I believe this adaptation is able to attract more viewers to seek deeper on the romanticism of the era, especially for the Generation Z. I have acknowledged the way our current generation are more expressive in every detail of their story and mostly, they are able to express it in creative and indulging ways using digital media platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, etc. The 2022 adaptation has portrayed the characters in such a new refreshing way, especially Anne, as she kept the viewers engaged with her point of view of her life. Not to mention, the production team has splendidly dressed the characters of the era in such dazzling fashion. The very element that caught my attention is Anne's costumes are not overdressed or dressed casually, and it brings out Anne's character in such a lovely way. However, I am not fond of the language used in the movie and it feels too modernized. The setting and costumes of the period does not align with the dialogue used. Some of the dialogue goes against what the characters say in the book. Perhaps the production team appeals to the non-reader in a modern way.